right, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Bare Bones Fishing. So today, in my favorite walleye, uh, fall walleye spot again. However, changing up the bait. So instead of going with old reliable here, uh, I'm going to be trying to use a blade bait today. This is something new for me. I've actually never caught anything on a blade bait. I've never used one before. Um, so this could be a short episode, but we will see. So I've got a um, black and gold one. I'm gonna go with that color to start off with. And I believe it's a half ounce. We'll see if I can uh, land into a few here using a different bait for once. Thanks very much for tuning in. We'll see how it goes. I feel as though I've really got to focus with this bait because I've never used it before. So I don't know what to expect exactly. And so I'm marking them down there and I have very little confidence in this bait. It's actually very hard for me not to just put on a, the old white jig and white minnow right now. But for the sake of that little extra challenge, we are going to stick with this one for a little bit. Oh, look at that. Nice. Look at that. This could be my very first one with a blade bait. Neato. I've only been at it for a few minutes. It's been really tough because everybody around me has been catching them. And I've been having a hard time. Nice. Look at that. I'm not going to be boat flipping these guys. I do not want to break that. Nice. Cool. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, look at that. First one with the blade bait. Pop that out. And look at that. Nice little walleye to start off with. Nice. Nice little walleye to start off with. On the blade bait. Ew. This is a new bait, new technique for me. Um, I know that there's a few guys in this neck of the woods that do use these. Uh, so I figured why not give it a shot. My daughter actually bought this for me for Christmas last year and uh, I haven't used it yet. So this will be neat that I can show her some video of me catching some fish finally with the lure that she bought for me. Oh, look at that. Another one with the blade bait. Another one. Oh, that feels like a decent one too. Another one with the blade bait. Oh, that's a, that's a thicker fish. That's a thicker fish. Oh, yeah. I mean, once again, still not huge, but pretty, pretty good. Nice. Number two on the old blade bait. Number two on the blade bait. Check his mouth. He's good to go. Number two on the blade bait. Nice. You know what? We're gonna go reset. Well, that's been a blast already. Two drifts, two fish on the blade bait. Nice. So in terms of the color uh, that I chose, to be honest, I don't have many options. I've got that black and gold, and I have a chartreuse one um, that are in that uh, same size. There's not too much rhyme or reason, but uh, the water is really clear today. You can see it's a gorgeous day out. Um, and so I didn't want to go with something uh, that was really, really bright. And so I had this one or the chartreuse. So I went with this one. Oh, look at that. Three drifts and three fish on the blade bait. I am so excited about that. I believed myself there. Oh, not a big one, but nice fight. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, not a, not a big one, but a nice fight. We'll just boat flip this guy. There we go. Caught him. Nice. Wow. Man, oh man. This is awesome. Like I said, new, new bait. Same result, love it. Okay, let's get back down there. So that's three on the blade bait. Let's see if I can 
get a few more. It's funny how confidence plays such a huge role in, in fishing, at least I feel it does. If you go into something with a lot of confidence, it just seems like everything pans out for you. I shouldn't say everything, but lots of stuff pans out for you. So now that I've talked it up, watch, I'm going to jinx myself and not catch another f fish. <laughs> lied, I lied. <laughs> oh, shoot, lost him. You know what though? I don't care. I'm having fun right now. This is awesome. This is awesome. All right, let's get back down. This has exceeded my wildest expectations already. It's been a lot of fun. The bite, I don't find much different with uh, this. Oh! <laughs> I don't find the bite much different with this versus a, uh, a jig, to be honest. They're hitting this just the same as they would a, a, a regular jig. Oh, that's a nice quality fish again. Four in the boat. Four in the boat on the blade bait. Wow! Wow! It's good to, you know, build some confidence in lures that you might not, that you might not typically use. That way you have some different options when things might not be going your way. You know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, the jig in a plastic out here is still going to be my go-to. Um, as you've seen in a lot of prior videos, but like I said, on the off chance that that doesn't go someday, and, you know, we've got, got other options here we can pull from. Nice. <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Ooh. That was a good pull there. Ooh, another good pull. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, let's get this one on the net. Like I said, I'm not gonna boat flip these guys with the eight or $10 lure. I don't know how much it is, but it's definitely a lot more expensive than a jig. Little guy, but still. Okay, number five with the with the blade bait. Okay, let's go for one more. Let's see if we can do it. Ooh. Ooh. That's a decent one there. That one's a decent one. That one is a decent one. Decent, look at that. Number six. Guys, number six. I'm gonna call it after that one. Remember, I offer a charter service. If you're interested in heading out and on the water with me, go to uh, barebonesfishing.ca. I'm located in the Southwestern Ontario area. Offer a bunch of different trips. And so uh, this season kind of coming to an end quickly. Don't have many dates left available, but uh, maybe keep me in mind for, for next season. I start operating in the spring and I continue in all the way to the, uh, to the fall, as you can see. Thanks very much everybody for tuning in. Greatly appreciated. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, could you please like and subscribe? It would be greatly appreciated. For charter information, please head on over to barebonesfishing.ca. Thanks again, and we'll catch you on the next one.